We're so tired but happy. Uh, we got here yesterday to Texas. We're staying in our friend's house. Had a few hiccups, but nothing too terrible. Our, the biggest thing was uh, our car rental didn't happen. So <laughs> we got here and we were a little questioning if we were even going to be able to get to where we had to go. But luckily our friend was able to come and pick us up. And it all worked out. And now we have a private chauffeur for the whole trip. Super nice. They're so sweet. They're being such good hosts, taking good care of us. And uh, we went and had these amazing hamburgers last night. And uh, I'll put the video of the birds that we saw. It was like something out of... Like the movie The Birds from Alfred Hitchcock uh, as we were driving to go get burgers. Oh, they're all I mean, to be fair though, they don't smell like They are. Wow. That's... So this is not normal. It's so crazy. It's just... Wow. <laughs> remember the name of the burger I took a picture of the menu so I could find it but uh it was they make all these unique burgers like one of them was a poutine burger where it was like mashed potatoes and brown gravy and cheese curds and french fries on top of it and I had basically a hamburger smash between two grilled cheese sandwiches oh my god it was so good I only ate half of it to find time to eat the other half of it because it was just too much but um oh man it was so good and then today we spent the whole day at six flags that's not like me at all where are we going six flags <laughs> you know it's 40 degrees out why not <laughs> no 41 sorry Get wind burnt some color I didn't realize that um, the Six Flags here <clears throat> close to Dallas is the original Six Flags. Um, the Six Flags of Texas. or oh, Yeah. And, um, oh my gosh, we had so much fun. Uh, went on everything but one, well, I mean, there's a lot of of rides that we didn't get to they in the winter time they are not open as much they're only open on the weekends from like noon to six so crowds weren't too bad and uh but it was a little it's actually as cold uh for texas um this morning it was in the 40s and so by the time we got there, like staying in the sun was super comfortable, but riding on the rides, you got off and your cheeks were and your teeth were like frozen, <laughs> screaming and laughing so hard. And uh, let's see, we did this like one that was called the snake and it was sort of like riding a bobsled almost. It was not on a track. You get in like the cart, like coaster thing. And they kind of push you down and uh, it just rides kind of sort of like a bobsled uh, on the, on the, what well, almost looks like a, a water slide. And that was fun. Um, a good start to the day. And 
a little hiccup with our friend losing her phone, but then she we found it pretty quickly. She was able to get it back, and um, the boys had some Korean corn dogs. Do I put like what put do you, mustard what do you on? Put it on it though. Taste it without anything first. Put them on mustard to get it down. All right, sausage. Korean corn dog. Covered in sugar. Was it supposed to be cinnamon and sugar? Or is it just... Oh, you got the cheese first. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh. Very hot. Mm. Okay. No. Not mad at it. I'm not mad at that at all. What do you think? I don't Mike? understand it. Uh, um, it's interesting. Haven't decided yet? I mean, it. I think I ate all of the, the, the cheese just now. It all came out as one. Are you not a fan? You like it? Or are you going like to eat the it. rest of it? I like it. I was just expecting it to be like more meat. I myself just had a regular corn dog. I didn't really feel like. I think I wanted to try one, but neither of the flavors that they had as an option where it's anything that I wanted to really have. So that's fine. And then uh, we all got on this. It was sort of like a copy of, we're trying to be sort of similar to Pirates of the Caribbean kind of a situation. But then like went real weird. Like all these troll people showed up and then then the pirates were like trying to take from them I think and like they revolted and like there was like a section of the ride where we went we went in and like one of the trolls heads had fallen off and you could see like the pipes and stuff it was so weird <laughs> Um, I don't regret doing it because it was just so weird that it was, <laughs> it was like kind of hysterical. And then, uh, Jared and Harrison <clears throat> and our friend, uh, Yandy got on the super man ride, which shoot just straight up in the air. And, uh, Brian and I just hung out and waited for them because that was not my cup of tea. I'm not a big, like, free fall person. Bye. Put your head back! I love you, love you too! Bye. 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 Then did a really cool ride called the Joker. Yeah, it was the Joker. And uh, while you're riding the roller coaster, you're also spinning um, in different directions, and you don't know what direction you're, you're going to be going. It's it was crazy. But my favorite ride that we went on was Batman, and that thing shot you out of there, and <clears throat> after you do the like the initial climb it gets up to 50 miles an hour and you do five inversions it was so much fun it was so much fun it was so fast and so twisty that all of us were kind of dizzy and lightheaded when we got off of it we all just stand there for a second and adjust ourselves uh but it was so much fun it was my favorite <clears throat> And then that was about the day. 
and uh, we went to Bag O' Crab for dinner. And it was so good. And it was so fun because there was actually a robot waiter that would come with your food to the table. There was a barbecue place like uh, that had butcher paper um, outside of Austin. We used to go to it was only family style. So it was 12 people. They don't care if you're sitting with people you don't know. And the, they had these like fire, it looked like fire on the dividers between the tables, but really it was just light and mist. It was this illusion. It was really cool. And it was so good. I love seafood. And I got my, I got my crab and my crawfish and my shrimp and all the things I want to, I, I want to eat and crave to eat when I'm in the South. So. <clears throat> And uh, then we came back and we've been relaxing and we thought out that king cake that Brian got us earlier in the week and we had king cake. And he got me also Dr. Pepper ice cream, you guys. I actually, it's like the one soda I actually do like. And it tastes just like Dr. Pepper. I can't wait to eat more of it. It's so good. <laughs> and uh, Harrison's never really been like a Dr. Pepper fan, but he wanted to try it. And he was like, oh, this is really good. And part of me is like, oh, I'm so glad he found something he likes. And the other part of me is like, God darn it, that was supposed to be for me. <laughs> You got the cookies and cream one. <laughs> so now it's a, uh, it's bedtime. <laughs> it's about ten thirty ish here, so they're two hours ahead. So normally it's only like eight something at home, uh, but our bodies are ready to. Call it a night, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be going to <clears throat> Meow Wolf, which is some kind of it's like an art exhibit. Uh, sounds like there's a storyline that goes with it. So I'll, I'll let you guys know what it what it is uh, after we are done with it. <laughs> this should be fun. You guys have a great night. I hope you're having you had a wonderful day wherever you are. <laughs>